Welcome back to Coding World. Today in this tutorial, we are going to see how to use a MongoDB as a NoSQL database and we are using Spring Boot as a microservice. So we are going to create a CRUD application using a Spring Boot and MongoDB where I will be having a user entity which will be stored, which will be retrieved, which will be updated and uh, created. So all this data we, will, we are going to store in the MongoDB and we are trying to access that using a Spring Boot. So if you are seeing like I have opened two, two tabs, one is for Spring Boot initializer and one is what is a MongoDB. So like a first part we have to set up a MongoDB on our on a local or we can store that uh, we can create instance of a MongoDB on a cloud also. So like it's better to use a cloud because they are providing a 50, 500 MB free storage which will which is sufficient to complete this tutorial okay. So if you go to the MongoDB like a uh, account MongoDB you can if you don't have a account you can use sign up and you can create your account using a Google okay. So for me like I have already created that account so I am going to log in with this my email id okay so for this i have use so i have given my username and password and i am going to log into my mongodb online account okay so let me remind remind me later because this is my testing account so okay so this like uh, this will be at last like uh, this is this is a uh, home page where you are able to see the projects i have created this project for my learning purpose project of zero and demo so like uh, if if you want to create your own project you can click on new project and you will it will create the project you can give the name to name tags to identify what is the use of that project so let's create let's open this uh, demo project so yeah i have you opened my demo project in this like uh, there will be a database data day data lake data device sync up all these multiple features are there but we are mainly focusing on this database so if i click here on database so i will be having my cluster on this cluster i have created my databases so if you click on browse collection you will able to see the create database and under that i have created two one database coding world and in that like i have created collections customer and user so in the mongodb like uh, we use a collection as a keyword for our table if this will be like a tabular format like if we are comparing a no sql database mongodb with a rdms in that case rdms we have a table and here we have collection so i have user collection and customer collection so if you see like a uh, in this user i have created a two collections okay one is like uh, two entries one is the mongo user and coding world this i have created for my learning purpose so i am going to delete this i don't have anything in my user collection okay so this is about our like uh, databases in database we have i have my coding world database okay so if you see here like uh, under that you have two collections now to get the information about our uh, database and how to connect this database you have to create a first user so for that you have to go into the database access so i have created one user you can create a new user from here like uh, all username passwords and then in below like uh, you can click on the all the privileges all these custom roles whatever you want to select more specific in this uh, in this tutorial we are more mainly focusing on the CRUD operation i am not adding multiple authentication and other details so we just creating a username password and using that we will be able to connect to our database so once you create the database with all this information but while creating the user user you keep the all username and the password information you can download that or you can store in your any local file and you can use that while connecting to this mongodb okay once you create the database user you have to come here and under database we have a connect button okay so if we click on this connect we you will connect to the cluster okay under that cluster there will there will be a 
your databases. So connect with the cluster. We have to select what the language you want. Java, then what is the version? And below there will be a sample URL which you have to copy and you have to replace your password. So you currently I have created Rasa Gupinath as my username which I can use and paste my password here. So if you see here, this is only cluster information and in that we don't have a database URL. So I can I can add the database, post this cluster URL and we can able to access that database. Okay. Now, till now we have we have seen that like uh, how to create the database access on our Atlas cloud. And now next step will be like using a Spring Boot application, how we can connect with this. So coming to spring.io is used to configure your Spring Boot project and you can download that project and import into your favorite editor. In my case, I will be importing it into STS. So let's configure this project. This is a, like a Maven project I'm going to create. The language I'm using Java. Spring Boot version I'm using 3.1.9. So group I'm keeping as a form.example. Here I'm giving as a Spring Boot Mongo. Mongo Spring Boot and packaging will be jar I'm keeping as it is and uh, Java I'm currently it is not allowing to select the Java 8 since I'm keeping Java 17 when I import this project on my editor I will edit that from 17 to 18 let's add a dependency for this I am adding a web dependency okay and MongoDB okay so Mongo Spring Data MongoDB starter project so this like uh, if we import this mongodb then we don't need a jp dependency mongo repository we can extend and we can able to store information in mongodb and we can able to retrieve from that so if we generate it will be uh, downloading that zip file which you can import in your in which you can import in your editor so i have imported that in my sts if you see like uh, I have coded the most of the parts so that this video will be small and you will get a whole understanding okay so this is my spring form.xml where I as, I as I shown you we have spring boot started data mongo we have web these are the two main dependencies I have added now coming to the resource we have application dot property where I have configured this Spring Data Mongo URL. You can you can configure separately host, username, password, database name, all those details. You can you can configure separately also. But Spring Boot providing us one property URL in that like you are mentioning all your detail in one property itself. So like uh, this is my username, this is my password, this is my <coughs> cluster name. Okay. And this is my database. So all this information, retry rights, all these are like optional form. Now we are not using this. Okay, app name is a cluster zero, which is like our cluster under which we have hosted our database. Now coming to the main our files. Currently I have put all these files in my single folder, single package. Okay, you can create your controller folder, you can service folder, bean folder, and repository folders. This is a CRUD application, and we are going to see that is a nut cell. You can extend this project and import, add your other details. Okay, so this is my first bean. Okay, so this is my user entity where, like, I am giving, I am using, uh, where I am using uh, document annotation so this is this will be my document name okay users this will be my it is equivalent to the table in our rdms so i have created like id name age these three fields i have created id will be auto generated using like mongodb uh, and this name and age i will be giving so i have added setter getters you can add, use lambo and using lambo you can add the data annotation so next next part is our controller so i have added 
four controllers like four endpoints which is like a save update delete and get list so i am accepting user and storing into the database so let's see the our user user service this is also again a simple user service i have not handled error handling and all those details that you can handle and extend that this project so where i have four methods save update delete user and get all users okay so this is my repository this this is the main part okay uh, like where generally we are extending a cred repository or jpa repository and using that we are storing the rdms data but in mongo we have mongo repository which we can extend and store our user details so this this way we can create our uh, methods which will be used to get the or retrieve the data effectively so find by age where we are giving the age and for that age all the users it will be returned like that you can pass the other queries also that we are going to see in our next tutorial okay guys this is it about like a uh, all classes let's run this application and hit our endpoint okay so i am running this as a spring boot app okay our application has been started within 5 second and it is running on 8080 let me open a postman and try to hit that application so i am let's first put the data into database and then try to update and retry okay so i am adding coding world age and this is my currently i don't have email id so these two details i am going to store so if i hit this it is connecting to the our database and it is get, getting stored into the database so let's move to the our database and check is it stored in that or not okay so i am clicking on browse collection under demo project databases are there and in my coding world i have user so it is loading the document and if you see the record has been created okay now let's update that so i am copying this putting here so here instead of a 20 i am making it as 30 and let's hit this up. so it is getting stored let me refresh and check this it was previously 20 now it is replacing 30 that means we are able to update our application update our record successfully let's go and add one more entry let's say ninja and for that i am giving a is as a 80 so let's hit this it has been successfully stored so we have another api which is used to retrieve the data so let me hit the get api this is my local host as api slash user get list and i am getting my array so all the user which i have which i have stored into the database okay now let's try to delete this so i am copying one id and let's try to delete this okay so before delete i want to show you let's apply this and check so currently i have two users in my user collection so click on delete and yes it is returning to that means it has been deleted so let's apply and check okay there is only one record and second record has been deleted okay guys so that's this way like we have seen that like how to create update delete and get the records now let's try to like in rdms we are not able when we modify the our entity we have to update the database we have to update add or delete that column from the database in our in mongodb that is not the case let's add one more field that is email and i'm going to create a setter getter for this okay let's restart it so our application has been started now try to put the entry okay email okay and in this 
coding world at the red gmail.com okay so i have added one more field email coding world at the red gmail.com let's hit this and we have successfully added one more record that is ninja 80 with the email id so let's go here and check we are getting our second record where email is there so this way guys like we have successfully seen like how to create the microservice you know, which is accessing a mongodb and how we are doing the operation on the mongodb if you like this video please subscribe my channel and share this link with other other people